Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. The Avril rollout is a great core exercise and probably one of the best exercises for getting a stronger core. Not to mention that you will be using your entire body and it's a difficult exercise, I'm not gonna lie. But when you finally get to do it, it's actually fun and I really like to do them. And we who do calisthenics know how hard it is to uh, train for the skills and all the skills like the L sit, the front lever, the, the back lever, the handstand for stability and more. Um, you will need a strong core. And I always say that um, only because you have six pack, it doesn't mean that you have a strong core. Okay, everyone has abs. It doesn't mean if you are obese, if you are fit, or if you are skinny, everyone has them. Uh, but to make them visible, uh, your abs visible, you have to have a low fat percentage. And the less fat you have, the more they will pop. And people that go to the fitness and they are good looking, like big biceps, uh, a big chest, a big back, and the six pack, um, only because they have a good looking six pack, it doesn't mean that they can do the uh, wheel rollouts, okay? You really need a strong core to do this exercise. But how to master it? You have to do progressions. And one of the progressions would be the plank. So if you are a complete beginner um, and you have never trained before, this is going to be the, your first time, uh, but you really like to see the people do the every rollouts um, and the plank it's difficult for you so you, uh, your lower back starts to hurt, um, you still have a regression that you can do and instead of doing the normal plank, you are going to do the um, knee plank so it's going to be on your knees. So it's going to be looking like this and you hold this um, for as much as you can but uh, one minute should um, be enough to then do at least 10 seconds of the normal plank okay so like i said if you if you're a complete beginner start with the uh, knee uh, plank and then work your way up and don't worry uh, we all start from somewhere so don't be ashamed and when you um, do the knee plank and start to progress to the plank, you should uh, be able to hold the plank at least for one minute. I'm going to show you how the plank looks like. So it looks like this and you should be able to hold this position for at least one minute, okay? Before moving on to the next progression. And uh, when you do the um, when once you can do the plank for one minute it's time to um, progress further and that would be slowly slowly um, going further with your elbows uh, forward so for example the normal plank it's like this and then you will start to do the plank holds um, with your elbows uh, more forward and you keep going further and further forward until um, you do the superman plank so the only thing that is going to touch the floor is going to be your hands and your feet okay so i'm going to show you how it looks like and you should be able to hold this position for at least 20 seconds and then when you hold this uh, position for 20 seconds it's a sign that you have quite a, a decent amount of strength in your core and then it's time to use the ab wheel for the knee ab wheel rollouts all right so once you can do 10 reps uh, with perfect form always keep in mind that when you want to achieve a, a skill or an exercise, in this case, the um, a wheel rollout, you really have to focus on the perfect form. Um, it's They are the ones that count. It's quality over quantity. So when you do an exercise that you want to achieve, always make sure that you do it in perfect form, okay? And like I said, once you can do 10 uh, reps, uh, of the knee and uh, wheel roll out with perfect form, it's time that you start to do the next progression. But for the next progression, you're gonna need a pillow or a thick mat because it might have an impact um, in your knees. Uh, 
I'm going to show you the reason why. So you're gonna go to the normal position of the wheel rollout, all right? And then you're going to do the air wheel rollout. And when, once you cannot hold the position, you'll let your knees uh, fall and land on the, uh, on the floor. And that is why you need a pillow or a thick mat uh, because of the health of your knees. So you don't want to get injured. So I'm going to show you one more time the negative uh, ab wheel rollout. So here we go. And once you cannot hold it, just let your knees fall, All right? So once you can do about six reps with perfect form of this exercise, it's time that you attempt your normal um, ab wheel rollout, okay? So I'm going to show you how it looks like. So here we go. And then push back, okay? So now a question that many of you might ask is, is it worth it to do it, um, to do the ab wheel rollout or to buy it? Well, in my opinion, yes, um, because uh, once I start to use it more often, and it's about two months that I started to do this more often, um, I really saw the difference in other exercises. I felt my core stronger and the stability was also there and um, I really recommend people to do that and in terms of the price um, it's quite reasonable um, it, this Adidas I will it only cost me 20 uh, Swiss francs it's about 20 euros um, so it's not that expensive but they are cheaper ones if you want you can buy those ones especially if you train at home it's definitely a equipment that I would um, recommend for you to use all right and that finishes it, it off and I hope that this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new coming videos and I see you next time. Thank you and see ya.